when Jared and I went fishing um, for the first time, I guess that would be my favorite memory is when he said he wanted a dog. And Kiana, one of my bridesmaids, went to Walmart that day and said that there's puppies for sale. So I called him. I said, what kind of dog were you wanting again? And he said, I want a white dog with blue eyes. So Kiana said, there's a white dog with blue eyes there at Walmart. And I'm like, oh, perfect, you know? So I called him and I said, do you want to do it? And he's like, yeah, let's do it. So I went to Walmart and I was looking at the truck that these puppies were in. And I saw this one dog and it was brown and it had stripes on him and it looked like a tiger. And I said, is that a puppy? And he's like, yeah, that's one of our brindles, only brindle out of the litter. And I said, oh, can I see him? And I just held him and I instantly knew. I said, this is my dog. So I went back home and I waited for him to get out of practice and he met me at my apartment. And I said, hey, I have your puppy. And he walks in and he goes, what did you do? <laughs> Not the dog that I wanted. So, you know, end of story. Grit's still with us, so, you know, he ended up getting used to him. But we took Grit fishing that, you know, that day in March and uh, went to Antonino past the elk sanctuary. We've never seen that many elk before, and, you know, going past Antonino, and he taught me how to fish for the first time while we had our dog with us that he didn't want. Everything for the last eight years has been everything that I've ever wanted. So it's, it's you know, obviously I can probably go through and pick certain certain days, certain things that we've done, but it's, you know, it's gonna be kind of a hard question for me to answer. Just every day is, is a great memory with her. So I just, I can't imagine anything else. <laughs> he's driven, he's, you know, supports everybody. He works hard day in and day out. He doesn't stop until a job gets done. And it's not just job duties, it's responsibility, making sure that I'm taken care of, making sure that the house is taken care of, making sure that our animals are taken care of, and everybody else in general. So I just love how he supports, drives, motivator, gets things done the way supposed to be. She's beautiful. She, she works hard. She loves with everything that she has all the time. And everybody that knows her will say the exact same thing. From day one, you know, that's a, that's a quality that I've looked for in a woman my whole life. And, you know, granted, I'm still kind of young, but I can't ask for anything more than that. When we first met, you know, he was very respectful, held the door open for me, you know, just little things like that that I knew. This guy's different. He's not like the others. You know, he always stands out to everybody. And everybody in general has that feeling about him too and that first impression. So I knew. I said, this this guy's the, the, the guy. I remember I went home one summer and I was getting dressed with my mom. And she asked me, do you think you guys are going to get married? And we have only been dating for a couple months. I think like nine months maybe. And I said, yeah, I think so. And she was in shock. She goes, I never would have thought of that, you know, you getting married and here we are. But I think it's the day that I realized that I didn't want anything else. You know, that she is what I want. And this, this is the life that I want to live and this, she's the person that I want to do. I don't want to do it with anybody else. I think, you know, and so it wasn't like a day or, you know, a week that I could sit down and tell you this is the day or this is the week. It's been it's been a progression throughout our relationship. And, you know, we're, we're eight years into this, you know, finally getting married. We will be together forever. And I don't care what happens. Like, come hell or high water, 
we will be together. Just like my Uncle Casey said yesterday. There's not a Ramirez in our family, in my family, my dad's side of the family, that has been divorced. My grandparents have, are, have been married over, I think they're 50, coming up on 52 years. And I want to beat that. And I just want, I just want us to have that relationship that they built, that my grandparents built, and display every single day that the love that they have for each other. I just want you to know that I'm gonna, oh, okay. <laughs> I will love you with everything that I have for the rest of my life. You will, you will have every ounce of me. I, like I've said several times throughout this, I don't want anyone else. I don't want a life with anyone else. I don't want to go through this with anyone else but you. You, you are my life. You are what makes me a better person. I just said, I love you. Just ready to do it. I've been waiting seven years for this, so <laughs> ready to get it done. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited for the rest of our lives. I'm excited to start a family with you. I'm, just, I'm excited for the future. So, I'm ready for this. So, let's, get, let's get it done. But that night in the rain, the music just stopped. And I think that's when you saved me I pray That one by one we'll make Promises to keep Standing underneath the shade tree Darling, I love you And if by chance you pray For me One by one your name in the stars but it's time to confess I lied when I pretended to see I pray that one by one we'll make promises to keep standing underneath the shade tree darling I love you and if by chance I pray that one by one we'll make promises to keep standing underneath the shade tree. Darling, I love you. I'm hoping that you pray for me. One by one, let's be.